All right, guys, I wanted to go over this banded shoulder stretch. So this is the old one that I've used, but it's a good one. So I wanted to go over it here and explain the different positions. So first, I'm gonna wrap your hand through that band, grab the band, it just makes it a little bit easier to hold on to. And then the first position, you're just gonna go straight up overhead. So I'm stretching that lat out and I wanna send whatever arm is up, that leg goes back. So I'm getting that full stretch all the way down and should feel it all the way down that side of the shoulder and the lat. And then you can almost rotate and look underneath that armpit keeping the palm facing up as much as you can. Don't want to rotate that way. You want to keep that palm facing towards you or up. And I'm kind of rotating towards that way. The more I rotate and look under the arm, the more I'm going to get a stretch in that shoulder there. Hold there for about 60 seconds or so. Next, we'll go across your body. So I'm stretching the whole posterior side of the capsule, posterior shoulder, stretching here, and just letting that pull directly across your body. Again, about a minute there, and then We'll rotate away from the band. I'm going to switch hands just so you can see. We'll rotate away from the band. So it's opening up our chest and the anterior side of the shoulder. You can look away here so you can get a little bit into the neck, shoulder, and pec. And then from there, you'll rotate, keeping that elbow close to your head. Again, just stretching the front side of the shoulder, letting that band pull you directly back, letting that elbow go back as far as it can. You can almost push back against that elbow to help assist in that stretch. And then the last one, you might need a little bit lighter band. This one is typically a lot more uncomfortable. And so if that band's pulling you too tight, you may not be able to get in a position where I get that shoulder down and back. Work on internal rotation here, which is uh, often the reason for anterior shoulder pain, uh, pain in that biceps tendon or anything like that when you're doing pushing or pulling. This may be the reason you may be missing internal rotation. So we want to keep that shoulder down and back and letting that band pull that hand as high up as possible. Again, we don't wanna let that shoulder roll forward like that. That's gonna exacerbate the problem and, and exaggerate how much you can actually get up. We wanna keep that shoulder down and back and letting that band pull directly up. So that's the banded shoulder stretch series.